The Dornier DO-17Z, the high-wing twin-engine reconnaissance bomber, and sometimes referred to as the 215, is a development of the DO-17, which was one of the first Luftwaffe production types of 1935, and was known as the Flying Pencil. The newest thing in Dorniers, the 217, is very similar, but a bigger affair. The 17Z has heavily increased armament, as a result of costly experience during the early stages of the war. Six machine guns in all. The crew are well forward, shoulder to shoulder, in true Bosch fashion, in their angular, glazed conservatory. In fact, pretty well everything is up front. So let us present the DO-17Z side view. Everything up front, all right. Look at that angular, bulbous nose, with its conservatory on top and the gun position underneath. Then the long pencil effect of the fuselage, and finally the twin fins and rudders set on a very high tailplane. Here she comes, asking for a spot of trouble. Perhaps the most noticeable thing here is the bulbous effect of the glazed nose. Against the clouds you can spot her very easily by the long blunt nose and short stubby wings with very much rounded tips. Wing roots are smoothed round into that tapering fuselage in the true Dornier way. And the tailplane is very angular with fins and rudders set at the extreme ends. Underslung engines and fuselage with high set tailplane and there goes the DO-17Z. Well, now that the Dornier's well under control, we'll stop her where we like. Whoa, the halt. Achtung Spitfire. Ah, that's done it. Now then, what do we see? That shouldered effect of wings into fuselage. That gives her away. Coming up and turning, the glazed angular nose and the general bulbousness to the fore, coupled with the slender pencil-like fuselage, makes it the 17Z all right. Blunt nose leads the engines. Wings are short and stubby with well-rounded wingtips. And now the tail unit. Twin fins and rudders set on the high tapered tailplane. So you'll be pretty sure of the DO-17Z when you meet her again. And here is this particular baby at our disposal for a moment, so hand me that chalk. A high set tailplane with distinctive fins and rudders. Slender fuselage, quite unbroken on top or below. Bulbous angular nose. With conservatory set on top and gun position underneath. In fact, everything up front and it's the DO-17Z. Not so sure now? Well, this is a view of her you must be sure of. What is she? Friend or foe? A straight line with three underslung blobs, which means high, flat wing, no dihedral, with everything hanging down. Twin fins and rudders appear to be set on top of the engines, and that high tailplane can't even be seen. Foe, DO-17Z, let him have it. Slap in that bulbous, fully glazed snout. Up she rises, what can you see? That's right, wing roots smoothed round into fuselage. Now that bulbous up front effect. Tailing off to slim fuselage. Glazed nose. Nose leads the underslung engines. And, well, you know the answer. DO-17Z. Here she shows us her short, stubby wings with the rounded wingtips and gives herself away once more for what she is. And finally, we see a high-set tailplane with the distinctive fins and rudders at the extreme ends. And we know this blighter all along the line. The Dornier 17Z. So you know then, that a Bosch machine with high flat wing, with everything hanging down, a projecting bulbous nose, and a slender fuselage, is a Dornier 17Z. Come and get it.